Hello. Do you remember? Remember who, when, and what God remembers? That's easy. He remembers every one, every time, and everything. But here are ten questions anyway, mostly focusing on when God remembered. Let's begin. Question one. God remembered Noah, and God made a wind to pass over the earth. And what? The waters subsided. The ark was guided to the mountains of Ararat. The waters of the sea opened. The waters of the sea compassed the ark about, and the billows and waves passed over it. God remembered, and the waters subsided. In Genesis chapter eight. Question two: When God destroyed the cities of the plain, God remembered Abraham, and was it spared the life of Rahab and her family? Provided a ram in the thicket for Abraham to sacrifice, sent Lot out of the city in which he dwelt, or turned Lot's wife into a pillar of salt. God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the city. In Genesis chapter nineteen. Question three: God remembered Rachel and opened her womb. What did she call the baby when he was born? Was it Jacob, Joseph, Jubal, or Judah? And that baby was Joseph in Genesis chapter thirty. Question four: When Hannah was remembered of the Lord and had a son, what did she name the child? Was that Saul, Solomon, Samuel, or Simeon? And that was Samuel, in First Samuel chapter one. Question five: When the wrath of King Ahasuerus was appeased and he remembered Vashti. What she had done and what was decreed against her, what did the king's servant suggest? Was it that Vashti be put to the sword, that she should be restored to her former position, that fair young virgins should be sought for the king, or that Vashti appear before the king to plead her case? And the servant suggested that fair young virgins should be sought for the king. In Esther, chapter two. Question six: The psalmist says that God remembered that they were but flesh, and is it and their days were as nothing before Him, a puff of smoke that vanishes, a wind that passeth away and cometh not again, as the morning mist when the sun shineth on it. And、Psalm seventy-eight remembers that they were but flesh, and a wind that passeth away and cometh not again. Question seven: The psalmist said, "I remembered thy judgments of old, O Lord, and is it horror hath taken hold upon me? I kept thy precepts; I have said that I would keep thy words, or I have comforted myself." And from very long Psalm 119, I remembered thy judgments of old, and I have comforted myself. Question eight. Again, the psalmist said, "By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down; yea, we wept when we remembered. Was it Zion, Jerusalem, thy judgments of old, or thy mercy?" And thanks to Boney M, I think we're all aware that the answer is Zion. When we sat down by the rivers of Babylon, how many of you wanted to break out into song? From Psalm 137. Question nine. Jonah said, "When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and was it horror took hold upon me? My prayer came in unto thee, into thine holy temple." I caught a ship bound for Tarshish. I repented for the people of Nineveh, and God heard my prayer. And 
Jonah said, My prayer came in unto thee, into thine holy temple. In Jonah chapter 2. And question 10. When Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Was it, he went out and wept bitterly? He went to the people he had lied to and apologized? He went out and hanged himself in the potter's field. He went out and looked for the other disciples. And of course, in Matthew 26, with Peter's shame, he went out and wept bitterly. So, did you remember? And how many times do you have to say remember before it gets weird? I don't mind if you remember to like, share and comment, as it really helps out spreading the word. But until next time, goodbye and God bless.